Welcome to the Grain Pro Market Report. Hello and welcome to the Grain Pro Market Report for today, 12th of July 2019. Uh, well, it's in, in a holding pattern, I guess, for Victorian markets. Uh, we really haven't seen too much change this week. Uh, we thought we'd bring you a video later in the week um, anticipating some changes overseas. And we have had some. Um, the markets totally ignored USDA reports and basically gone off on their own. Uh, those of you who have taken our advice uh, the last couple of weeks on wheat, on US wheat, uh, would be smiling and pretty happy at the moment. Although we do see perhaps some profit taking after uh, this soar, uh, I guess, in wheat prices in, uh, in Chicago. Uh, but then again, um, we see that continuing to strengthen with uh, the yet lower yields in corn. So well, what do you think, Josh, of these markets? These, they've just totally gone out on their own now, haven't they? Absolutely. It's been very interesting to watch with a slightly bearish start to the market, but right. then obviously shoot up here in the last day or so, which uh, on the back of the USD report, USDA report, which actually didn't say much different to what we expected from the June numbers. No. They're essentially no. kicking the can down the road, really, mm, and, mm. Uh, and putting it onto the August report that will be coming out based on the survey from this month. So, yeah, um, yeah absolutely. I think it, the market's kind of taking um, things in their own hands mm, these days, mm, mm. And, uh, and they're doing what they will. Really. So full-on weather market, really. I mean, it has been for the last couple of months, but now they've just totally gone, gone all the way. Absolutely, yeah. There is some talk about some hotter and drier weather in the yeah. Midwest yeah. Uh, over the next several weeks, mm -hmm. which uh, could affect the quality and, and actually strengthen yeah. things up a little bit, but mm -hmm. um, absolutely, it's a weather-driven market day to day. Everything's changing. Mm -hmm. And Cameron, what's what's going on with uh, pulses in, in Australia? Uh, yeah, uh, pulses are fairly uh, sideways still yeah. at the moment. The um, the the uh, favour bean market of new crops eased off a little bit. The bids are now back to uh, six thirty DCT off twenty dollars from off last twenty dollars off the open. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Uh, and peas are up a little bit. Number ones five forty on farm. Are there any peas around? No, no scarce as scarce as anything. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you would expect them to firm. I, I would mm. have thought. Mm. Uh, mm. And um, yeah, the, the lupins are still firm up country going into New South Wales from. The Mallee still six ten six fifteen. So Victorian okay. origin lupins are quite strong. Yeah, yeah, and they, they are. There wouldn't yeah. be too many of those around. Either. No, no scarce like peas. Yeah, so yeah. yeah right. And in terms of Western Australia, they, mm -hmm. they had a really dry start to the year, uh, and now they've had really good rains. Um, so the Jiwa um, crop um, estimates or uh, of what's been sown, they're saying uh, wheat four point five million hectares, right? Uh, barley two million hectares. Uh, and uh, canola, one million mm, oats, mm. three hundred and fifty thousand, mm. which is up mm. on last year, and which is what you would expect, mm. uh, and four hundred thousand for pulses, which is yeah. slightly down. So yeah, just a quick mention: we, uh, Cameron and I, had a road trip uh, early in the week and came through the the Mallee and part of the Wimmera back into the Riverina, and uh, the crops were just looking absolutely amazing. Um, lots of barley around. Uh, we saw oats, uh, we saw wheat, we saw uh, canola. Uh, just really good looking crops, uh, very promising for the farmers in those regions. Uh, yeah, we, we, we travelled through Horsham and up to Matawa, Donald, Kwambatook, right. yeah. uh, Kerrang, mm -hmm. uh, Kundruk, and yeah, so all that Wimmera Mallee sort of country looking pretty good, water lying on paddocks even, so. Pretty happy really all Pretty around. green and yeah. forward the crops, yeah. yeah. Yep. Well there you so, go. Should be a good year. I think it, I think it's leading up to a good year. Uh, as we note on our um, on our report, uh, if you drill down and read that, we've got some uh, softening of uh, new crop barley and wheat, uh, especially in the Melbourne, uh, given that uh, the the crop in Victoria is looking uh, quite promising and the yields uh, likewise they should as well. So that's all we have for you today. Uh, just a quick mention that we are uh, at the speed field days on the 31st of July and the 1st of August. We look forward to seeing you there. And also we'll be launching next week uh, our new office, our Agbiz office uh, in North Melbourne. And uh, drop by and say hello. Thanks again. Bye for now. See live bids and offers on grainpro.com.au Agbiz, your complete agribusiness trading network. Hey, feed, grain, fertiliser, chemicals, fuel. 1300 813 898. Agbiz, your complete agribusiness trading network.